serious topic now. Yeah, let me put on my serious face. You got to get serious. Um, hold on, give me a second. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Good idea. Good idea. <laughs> All right. Ashraf Hakimi, speaking of PSG, um, apparently uh, has been given preliminary charges of rape by the prosecutor's department of Nanterre uh, on March 3rd. Women, dis- The woman decided not to press charges, but her testimony uh, was enough evidence for the prosecution to open an investigation. So... For the record, he's not been accused of anything yet. There's preliminary charges, so it's under investigation. Brings up the question, many questions for that matter. Uh, since everyone is innocent until proven guilty, as owners of football clubs, what would you do with the players that are accused, indicted, go to trial, or found innocent, but their names, images and legacies have been tarnished by these accusations. What would you do with them? Man, that's tough, because you look at Mason Greenwood right now with his whole pretty much same thing. Yeah. I would say his reputation is tarnished, and I don't know if a club's going to want to pick him up at all. No, I mean, I could see see teams in lower divisions picking him up on kind of a paid-as-you-play type of contract, but... I mean, for Mason Greenwood, for those of you who didn't know, he was found not guilty of aggravated assault. But there's a video on YouTube that you can find um, that's pretty damning. So makes him look very guilty, even if he wasn't. Right now, Manchester United have him on sabbatical, and they're deciding and asking the players whether or not they should let him come back into the squad or let him go. It's tough, man. He's now that he's found innocent, he's his life's never going to be the same ever again. No, I'm pretty sure. Isn't he having a baby with a girl too? Mm hmm. Yeah. So I, honestly, I guess it would depend on what's being. If so, if I'm the club and something like this comes against, you know, one of my players, one, it's going to depend on what the charge is or what kind of is going on or if there actual, if there are actual charges. Cause with Hakimi right now, there's no actual charges. It's more of an, an investigation. And so I would try to keep him in the fold as much as I can. Obviously, you know, his head's probably not going to be in the right space. So, you know, I don't know if I want a player like that playing. But I would try to keep it as normal as possible until there's actual charges kind of brought. Or there's actually very damning evidence, I guess. You know, video, something like that. That kind of proves it without the trial, so to speak. Yeah. And so that's where I think I, I would be at. I think it would, it would it would vary, obviously, from player to player yeah um what would you do if you're psg in this situation then i'd try to keep hakimi on and pretend going as normal what would you do if you're manchester united with mason greenwood that one's tough i don't know if i'd want him back yeah i I don't know and it's a shame too because he was such a great young talent he still is. Oh yeah, I mean he's not old by any means. No. He's definitely lost a year of his career. One hundred percent. Yeah, and probably more than that at this point. But um, how about yeah, you? What, what would what would you do then if you're Manchester United? If you're a PSG? Uh if I'm, I'll be honest. If I'm the coach, I'm gonna talk to the players. Whatever they decide goes. If they want the player back. Let him come back. As long as it's not a toxic dressing room and it doesn't mess up the harmony of the team. Uh, Especially if, I mean, I feel bad for all these players that get accused of these things and ultimately are found innocent. It doesn't do anything but tarnish their entire careers. Oh, yeah. Um, Yeah, I, I would, I think Ten Hag is handling it perfectly, asking the players what they think. Um, so here's the other thing. Ten Hag, has, has he ever met really Greenwood? No. Has Greenwood been training with Manchester United since all this happened? No. So, I mean, there's a new coach there. There's a lot of new faces as well. So how do you yeah. how do you think they react to all of this? Yeah, I don't, know, I don't know. Anthony I think... Casemiro, they've never played with Greenwood. No. 
Um, I think players like David De Gea, who are supposed to be leaders in the locker room, probably would have a better say on the matter. But, I mean, he's innocent. If the players say that they would let him come back, then slowly reintegrate him into the squad, in my opinion. Uh, they could definitely use a player of his quality. Yeah, they um, could. I don't know about his character, but he's innocent. So I can't really say anything damning about him. But, I mean, the, these charges and things happening to players, I mean, there's a long history of it, right? Oh, yeah. Um, you can say the same thing about Benjamin Mendy, who just got – um, released from prison, he was accused of multiple counts of rape, and now they've proven that he's innocent. Um, he's got a crazy lifestyle. I don't know if you've ever read anything about that, but what players decide to do in their free time, it's their free time. I mean, as long as it keeps them out of trouble. Danny Alves uh, was arrested for sexual assault while playing for Barcelona. Cristiano Ronaldo, famously got accused by a lady in Vegas. Of yep, rape. I remember that. He was proven innocent and has now pressed charges against a woman for trying to defame him. Um, Rightly so, I think, honestly, yeah. if you're going to accuse that kind of stuff. I mean, if if it happened and the person gets proven guilty, then that's it. They're released to their contract, yada, yada, yada. Oh, yeah, they should be, you know, charged to the full extent of the law. I agree. But if you're going to lie about something like that also, then I I think there should be consequences for those actions as well. I 100% agree. Um, and, you know, it, I know it's a touchy subject, and a lot of people don't like to talk about it, but it's how the law works. You're innocent until proven guilty. If you're innocent, you're innocent. If you're guilty, you're guilty. There's no gray area. It's black or white. That's it for me. Um, I did find one fun fact, though. And there's a list of players who have been, um, have had all had out of court settlements for tax evasion. And this is quite the list. You ready? I'm moving on to a different crime, huh? <laughs> yes. This list has some of the biggest names in all of football. Believe it or not, all of them played in Spain at one point. Fabio Cannavaro, Neymar, Cristiano Ronaldo, Ramadel Falcao, Lionel Messi, James Rodriguez, Luka Modric, Angel Di Maria, Marcelo, Gerard Pique, Javier Mascherano, Iker Casillas, and Jose Mourinho, just to name a few. Millions of dollars in settlements for tax evasion. So, just thought it was funny. That's all. There was no point to that. <laughs> Moving okay. on, let's get to something positive.